So I know that I never usually start filming without having my eyebrows on, but I saw these two new products, well new to me anyway, at Target. And this one is the Wet n Wild new triangular tip um, retractable brow pencil. And then this one is the NYX Precision Brow Pencil. And they like, they added like a really interesting like point to the end of it. I don't know, I'm just excited. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try out one of these on each eyebrow. I am not going to be showing you guys a full face first impressions because I did not buy enough makeup for that. So if this video is kind of in and out, it's just because I'm going and doing, you know, the rest of my makeup and all that stuff because I don't want to bore you guys with stuff that you've probably already seen a million times. So yeah. I'm going to start with my left eyebrow and I'm going to use the NYX pencil for this. And I got the shade Ash Brown. Um... Oh, it's like a really little skinny, like, flat tip. That is so interesting. Okay, so let's just give it a whirl. Like it's like super creamy but not like to the point where I feel like it's gonna smudge everywhere. I actually really like this. Um, I really like that it's like a permanent little flat tip and it's not probably gonna end up like rounding out on me, you know what I mean? Because sometimes with like lipsticks or things that are supposed to have like a specific point after a certain amount of time they kind of like round out and then they aren't the same. Um, but yeah, I really like this actually. But, ooh. Okay, anyway, I mean, I knew what it was going to look like, but it, it just surprised me anyway. Um, so, I don't know if you can see, but it is like a little triangle. Ooh, and then it has a spoolie on the other end. Dang, one wild. Stepping up the game. Um, and this is the shade Ash Brown as well, ironically. <laughs> Wonder if it's going to match up. If it matches up, then, and if it, like, performs the same, then... I will be a-okay with all of this. So right off the bat, it is just a little bit warmer, um, but not too bad. Like it's not, I don't think it's really noticeable. Okay, so I was able to get more coverage on this eyebrow, especially right through here um, with the NYX pencil. This side, I did kind of struggle to get more coverage of where I don't have hair. Um, but I think that if you ha are a person that does have, like, you know, a decent bit of hair on your eyebrows, um, then you would really like this e.l.f. one. I do actually really like the application and everything. I just feel like the NYX one, for what I need it for, is probably going to be my go-to. But yeah, so far so good. I am going to go ahead and go over my eyebrows with just a little bit of brow powder just to kind of fill in some sparser areas right through here and probably on this side as well uh, but overall i think they're both pretty great products um obviously the wet n wild pencil is going to be cheaper but the nyx brow pencil i think was about ten dollars um and i don't think that's too bad considering i was thinking about buying an it cosmetics one for like 24. kind of happy that ulta ended up being closed when i was trying to go buy stuff <laughs> Okay, so I did go back over this eyebrow just a little bit with the NYX brow pencil and I also went over both of them with just a brown eyeshadow just because that's what I literally always do. I'm not going to go and change it just because I'm trying out a new product. I feel like that kind of ruins the point of seeing if it would work in my routine if I change my routine. So yeah, I went over it with a little bit of this and a little bit of the Smashbox eyeshadow i pretty much always just use this guy this no this guy right here <laughs> so i don't really have any other products to show you guys until a bit later so i'm gonna go ahead and do my eye makeup and i will be back to show you guys my foundation and all of that stuff okay so i did most of my eye makeup um i did try out i tried out these elf um Lux Lash Kit in the winged and polished style. Um, I really wanted to like them. I really, really did. But for some reason, I just, they didn't really stick very well. And I just, it made, it made me feel like my lash glue wasn't working. And I know that my lash glue is, uh, 
pretty great, so I don't understand. They didn't, like, lift my eyes, you know what I mean? Like, they didn't droop, but they just kind of, like, stuck out kind of straight, and you couldn't really tell, like, the style of them or anything, so... I don't know, I might try them again some other time, but it wasn't really the look that I was going for, so I have my Kiss shy lashes on. Um, I wish I had something a little bit more dramatic, but these work pretty well, so. And if, if I have glitter particles on my face, um, it's because I have glitter on my eyes, and I tried wiping it away, but I just, I can't, okay? I can't, like, once you... Once you go glitter, you can't be a quitter, okay? So I'm gonna just be sparkly for the rest of the day. <laughs> so I do have a new primer to try out. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer, the dewy one. I know they have a matte one, but I kind of wanted to try out the, the dewy one. <gasps> oh my god! It's exploding! It's exploding! I gotta like just put some of this like on my face, I guess. Oh my god, so much primer. Okay, so be warned, the bottle might explode on you when you open it. The foundation I got is kind of dewy, so I'm kind of curious whether or not I'm going to be like an oil slick by the end of the day with this primer, but we'll see. Um, it does look kind of, it looks pretty illuminating though, like, okay, so it kind of dries kind of tacky. Um. It didn't really feel very silicone-y when I put it on, which was kind of nice actually, but it does feel like tacky to the touch, so that's good. Um, I don't actually know if this has silicone in it, but um, I actually kind of like the way that feels. Um, yay. <laughs> so the foundation I got is the Physician's Formula The Healthy Foundation, and this has SPF 20. Um, I got the shade... LW2, which I'm assuming means like light warm, or I just took off the plastic, which is why it looks like it's been opened, but it has not been. Um, oh, hey, talk about Tarte Shape Tape. <laughs> so hopefully this is my shade. I was reading some reviews, like some people were saying that it really oxidized on them. Hopefully I will not have that issue, but I guess we'll find out, right? It's kind of like, I don't know if I really like this applicator because I feel like it doesn't like, apply as much foundation as I want, but it's not bad, I guess. It just feels a little unsanitary, maybe, to be like sticking it back into the bottle. So, I don't know. Okay, it does look like it's oxidizing just a little bit. Hopefully, it won't be too bad. Oh god, okay. Um, I'm gonna use my Flower Beauty sponge. I'm gonna stamp this out fan it just on one half of the face first it's not looking bad i wouldn't say that this is full coverage by any means so if you're looking for that then this is probably not for you um this coverage is okay for being one just just one layer okay um, I do like the way it's applying with a sponge. I don't really ever use a brush, so I'm, I'm not gonna go to the bother of applying it with a brush. I don't know. I mean, the applicator isn't too bad, I guess. I just, I don't know. It just makes me think of concealer, and I don't know. It's just weirding me out, I guess, in that sense, but um, overall, though, I think the finish is looking pretty nice. This actually looks really, really nice. I do not mind this at all. I'm gonna try adding another layer and see how that looks. I think it is a little bit darker than it should be for my skin tone. They had only one shade lighter I believe in the store um, but I think it was a cool tone and I kind of think I'm more warm toned sometimes. So I think I really really like this though. Like no joke it looks really really pretty. Like I've used the um CoverGirl Healthy Elixir foundation, and I really like that foundation, but it does oxidize quite a bit, and they are um, a cruelty company, meaning they test on animals, and Physicians Formula does not, so that is a bonus if you do buy this foundation. Um, one of the reasons I love the Flower Beauty Sponge is because it hasn't cracked on me when I've washed it, and I wash mine every single time I use it, which is basically every day. And this has not cracked on me. Like the Eco Tools one and the 
real techniques all ended up cracking on me over time and this one is still like pra practically brand new I mean obviously it could be a little cleaner but um you know it's doing pretty good it's held up really really well considering how long I've had it so I'm gonna try and do a check-in later to kind of update you guys on how it's looking probably in like a couple hours or so um because I feel like after a couple of hours I know how my foundation is going to look and I'm not really expecting this to be like a super long wear foundation uh, just because it's not matte and it's not, it doesn't claim to be any of those things. So yeah, I'll check in with you guys in a couple of hours and see how everything is looking. Um, but so far I freaking love it. And I'm, I'm not sure if the primer I used is making it look extra luminous but I do think I really like that primer. I'm gonna have to try it out with some other foundations but um, assuming it doesn't make my foundation break up over time I think it is going to be a new favorite. I just have to be careful of it exploding on me. <laughs> so I don't have any new concealers to show you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my concealer and I will be back to powder my face and show you guys the rest of my face makeup and how that all applies on top of this foundation. Okay, so my concealer's done. I just used the Tarte Shape Tape and then I set that underneath my eyes um, with the RCMA No Color Powder. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder. I feel like this kind of just helps maintain the glow of my foundations without super mattifying it, but it doesn't make it... it kind of like t gets rid of the tackiness, if you know what I mean. Um, and then at Walmart, I found these new I've never seen them before, these new Equate um, makeup brushes, and they just are so soft, like I cannot even explain how soft this is, um, and I just, I had to buy it, so, you know, I got a powder brush. I feel like with this powder, I sometimes need a stiffer brush to get more powder on it, um, so we'll see. Okay, it's, it's picking up a decent little bit. It just like, oh my gosh, this brush, you guys, is so soft, I can't even explain. Looking good, still looking good with the powder on top, it still looks okay. It did mattify it a little more, obviously, but I think that over time with my oils and everything, I think it'll kind of bring back some of the luminosity of the foundation, so yeah, so far so good. For contour, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette in Dolce de Leche. For blush today, I'm going to use the Essence Satin Touch Blush in Satin Love, and I'm taking a Real Techniques blush brush with this one. Sometimes in like my cheek area, like right in here, it gets kind of dry, and the more powder I add, um, the kind of like the drier it looks. Um, but so far, it's not, that's not happening, so that's making me very happy, and I feel like it could be the foundation, maybe it's the primer, um, but yeah, so far, it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna take the BH Cosmetics Spotlight Highlighting Palette, just to give a little bit of a, a glisten to my face. Gotta get that glazed donut look on. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the Ofra Makeup Fixer Spray. This is literally all I've been using for the past couple months because it's the only setting spray I have. So I'm just gonna stick to what I would normally do and set my face. I'm not sure if this actually helps the longevity of my makeup. I just like the way it feels and I feel like it kind of melts the powder altogether. So that's why I use it. Oh my gosh, like I love the way my skin looks right now. Like I have never, it's been a long time since I've used a foundation where I don't have to mix it with anything and I love the way it looks just on its own. Like I got two new lip products to try out. This is the e.l.f. Tinted Lip Oil in Pink Kiss and this is the Hard Candy uh, Volumizing Pumping Serum Lip Gloss in Swan Lake. 
I will admit I did try this out last night just because I really wanted to see if the color was nice and everything and it is um however I did not notice any sort of buzzing feeling or plumping effect with this but I was okay with that I just wanted something that didn't smell weird and was a nice gloss honestly like I just wanted a new nice lip gloss and I got that with this so I'm happy about it um, I am curious to see if it'll look good with the lip oil or if the lip oil is just gonna look good on its own so yeah let's give it a shot it looks pretty cute honestly like the packaging like okay I can I can get on board with this already it has one of those little um, kind of like lip hugger applicators if you know what I mean my lips are so dry so hopefully this moisturizes them it's a very bendy applicator okay I actually really like the way this feels already oh my goodness it's so moisturizing feeling it smells really nice too. Yay! I love when lip products smell good. Like if the lip product smells weird or smells bad, like I just can't use it. Like I I just cannot use it. It gives your lips just such a nice little soft glisten to the lips. It's not super like glossy. It's not super sticky. Um, oh my goodness, this is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pop on the hard candy uh, lip gloss on top of this just because I have it. Okay, so now that I have everything on, I really like how everything looks so far. I am actually really in love with the way my skin looks. Um, so yeah, I will be back in a couple of hours to check in with you guys and update you guys on what I think of everything and how everything is holding up. Alright guys, I am back. It is about 5.30 right now and I stopped doing my makeup or I finished my makeup at about 12.15 so it's been on for about 5 hours and 45-ish minutes. Um, but so far the foundation has held up really really well. Um, the eyebrows look the same. The lip product did wear off but it's like a lip gloss, lip oil, like I wasn't expecting it to last very long. Um, I did expect my forehead to get a little bit more shiny throughout the day, which it did, but it doesn't look like oily or greasy or gross, so that's good. Um, yeah, overall I give the products that I used a 10 out of 10. Obviously I'm gonna have to try out the primer a little bit more, um, and the foundation, but as far as today goes, I am very happy with how everything turned out. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys found this video helpful in some way, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye. Calm down, Tree. Calm down. Calm, calm yourself.